Every new generation of wireless networks delivers faster speed and more functionality to our phones. The world has so far experienced four generations, with the fifth in few places. Let's see these phases with their specification. 1. The first generation was used first in 1980 in the USA. Its wave frequency spectrum is between 824 to 894 MHC. 1 MHC can make 1 million operations per second, with a data transfer speed of 144 kilobits per second. It can only be used to make voice calls. 2. The second generation was launched in 1990 in Finland. With a wave frequency spectrum of 380 to 1800 MHz. The data transfer speed is 144 kilobits per second. It supports voice calls, text messages SMS, picture messages MMS and simple internet browsing. 3. The third generation was launched in Japan in 2003. It's the wave frequency spectrum is between 900 to 1800 MHz, the data transfer speed is 14 megabits per second. It supports voice, video calls, web browsing and the use of chatting applications. 4. In 2009, the fourth generation came from South Korea. Its wave frequency spectrum is between 900 to 2000 MHz. The data transfer speed is 100 megabits per second. With more increased internet speed, the fourth generation added LTE, long-term evolution, then LTE+, also called LTE Advanced. Yet the wheel of development is still rolling. 5. The fifth generation has already arrived, yet waiting for approval in most countries because of the controversies surrounding its use. It has a wavelength frequency spectrum range between 300 MHC band 100 GHz. Meaning it can carry out 100 billion operations per second. Its data transmission speed can reach up to 1 gigabit per second. It means 10 times faster than the fourth generation. The latency period of the fourth generation is about 0.045 of a second, while the fifth generation has the reaction period of 0.001 of a second. The fifth generation wave frequencies is very high to the tune of 5 mm. With 5G the speed of data transmission or downloading of videos can be in a few seconds. It can be deployed because of the speed of data exchange to perform remote surgeries. And it'll make self-driving cars smarter and safer. And much more as we approach the world of Internet of Things, in which our homes will be connected to our computers, phones and cars. Even our watches can be connected to the state health system. And all of that will relate to the international and governmental monitoring system. Thank you for watching. If you benefit from the video, support us by subscriber, liking and sharing the video with your acquaintances.